The purpose of this video is to help you become more aware of the signs of human trafficking so that as a first responder, you may be able to help identify and aid potential victims. Human trafficking is a crime. It is the use of force, fraud, or coercion to obtain labor, services, or a commercial sex act. Although they may overlap, human trafficking is generally divided into two categories, labor trafficking and sex trafficking. As a first responder, you are in a unique position to identify victims while they are still under the control of their trafficker. This is especially important for victims who may not have much contact with others. Unfortunately, human trafficking does occur at home here in Arkansas. Minor and adult victims of labor and sex trafficking have been identified. Between January 1st and June 30th of this year, 20 cases of human trafficking were reported in Arkansas to the National Human Trafficking Resource Center. Some of the top reported venues for trafficking in Arkansas include labor crews and construction work, as well as truck stops, hotels, and motels. Although there are several definitions of human trafficking, the basic elements of each definition require an action, a means, and a purpose. Under federal law, the relevant action can include the inducement, recruitment, harboring, transporting, providing, or obtaining of a person. The means can occur by force, fraud, or coercion. However, when a minor participates in a commercial sex act, it is automatically human trafficking. For sex trafficking cases, the purpose must be for a commercial sex act, meaning when money or something of value is traded for a sex act. For labor trafficking cases, the purpose must be for either labor or services. Frequently, human trafficking is confused with other crimes. Common misconceptions about human trafficking include that trafficking requires transportation or movement, that trafficking must include physical restraint or force, that trafficking victims are only from other countries, or that trafficking victims will immediately ask for help or assistance. Although transportation may be involved in the crime, human trafficking is not the same as smuggling. Transportation is not required. Although trafficking may include physical restraint or force, threats or abuse of the legal process may also be used. Trafficking victims may be men or women, adults or children, citizens or immigrants lawfully present in the United States or not. Most victims do not self-report because they do not know or believe that they are victims. So how do you know? Signs of human trafficking may overlap with signs of domestic violence or sexual abuse. You should be on alert if you see any signs of abuse such as scars, burns, mutilations, bruises, or untreated wounds or infections. Notice if an overbearing or controlling companion is present. This person may appear like a family member or a friend and may be male or female. This person may try to do most of the talking for the victim or have control of the victim's money and identification documents such as a passport, license, or a visa. The victim may exhibit extremely submissive or fearful behavior or appear malnourished, disoriented or confused. As a first responder, you respond to calls at various locations. Be aware of the surroundings. Common red flags of sex trafficking include permanently covered windows, rooms with little furnishings or belongings, and an excess of condoms. Notice if the victim's movement is restricted or monitored. You should be suspicious if the doors lock from both sides or only from the outside or if the victim is monitored by people or cameras. Take note of the working or living conditions, especially if there is a lack of personal space or belongings, 
or if the building or home contains an excessive amount of people, is in a state of disrepair, has few furnishings, or has windows permanently covered from the interior. Specifically for a workplace, note whether or not employees appear to be transported to and from work or if they sleep where they work. So what do you do if you suspect human trafficking? First, keep in mind that safety is a primary concern when encountering a potential victim. Do not ask the potential victim questions in front of others unless absolutely necessary. You can call or report online to the National Human Trafficking Resource Center. Their phone number is 1-888-373-7888. The National Human Trafficking Resource Center provides social and legal services to victims and survivors of human trafficking. Their toll-free crisis and tip line is confidential and equipped with translation services for over 200 languages. Reporting potential cases of trafficking is very important. An identified victim has a right to sue their trafficker, and if the victim is not a citizen of the United States, they may be able to obtain a temporary visa. We hope that this video will help you be able to identify potential victims of trafficking in the future. For more information about human trafficking, visit the Polaris Project website at www.polarisproject.org.